Perfect. Here we go. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 places that have barely been explored. But for the traveler, its great glory lies in the stark beauty of its dunes. This frozen waterfall sums up Kamchatka, a place of temperate summers and Arctic winters. It's a lake that has been separated from the atmosphere and life on Earth for millions of years, going its own way, and we want to know what's down there. For this list, we're looking at areas where few explorers have yet ventured, and which could still hold secrets unknown to the world. If there are any locations we failed to spot ourselves, be sure to let us know in the comments. Number 10. Yucatan Cenotes, Mexico A cenote is a natural sinkhole or pit that reaches groundwater beneath it. They're especially common on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Most resemble circular cave ponds, but many are more extensive, being connected to larger cave systems. There are an estimated 6,000 cenotes in the Yucatan Peninsula, but less than half have been fully explored, as collapsing rocks are common due to the way they form. Many require scuba gear to navigate in their entirety. Unfortunately, this has led to frequent deaths while exploring them, so fully documenting them is difficult and extremely hazardous. Number 9. The Hub al Khali, Arabian Peninsula. Perfect. Here we go. The Hub al Khali, or Empty Quarter, is one of the world's biggest sand deserts and is a part of the larger Arabian Desert. The Empty Quarter is an area of active sand dunes in the south of the Arabian Peninsula, situated between the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Sultanate of Oman. Despite its name, it actually takes up around a third of the desert's total area and is incredibly inhospitable, with extreme temperatures that reach as high as 124 degrees Fahrenheit. While it is partially inhabited, large sections of the desert remain unexplored due to how difficult the shifting terrain and environments are to explore. Although several recent crossings have been documented, it's unlikely that the Hub al Heli will be exhaustively explored anytime soon. And yet, before we get to the end, before we get across this desert, we've still got to cross hundreds and hundreds more miles of this endless flat gravel plain, and it's just mentally so hard to do. Number 8. Northern Patagonia, Chile. Vast and variable, the remote landscapes of southern Chile are spellbinding. It's one of the wildest places on the planet, Chilean Patagonia. Patagonia is a sparsely populated region of South America that includes territory in Chile and Argentina. Its northern portion in Chile is especially wild and largely untouched by human activity. With a diverse terrain that includes rainforests, lava fields, and glaciers, northern Patagonia is all over the place geographically speaking, which can make exploring it a challenge. With more than half of this gigantic region declared a protected wilderness area, you'll find untouched nature everywhere you go. The northern Patagonian ice field is among the largest masses of ice outside of the poles. Though the area is increasingly attracting adventure-minded travelers looking to escape, it is still far off the beaten path. I think that's an important thing to note, is that we've been asking ourselves why we're here. What am I doing here? I don't need to explain that because this is enough. Number 7. The Kamchatka Peninsula, Russia Siberia in general is considered pretty inhospitable by most standards and, as such, is not heavily populated. While the climate in the Republic of Sakha is particularly extreme, we're going with the even more remote Kamchatka Peninsula. The region is comparable in length to California, but the Golden State's envious weather is notably missing. The temperatures are frigid. This frozen waterfall sums up Kamchatka, a place of temperate summers and Arctic winters. Kamchatka is also home to hundreds of volcanoes, many of which are currently active. Lava seeps from volcanoes creating new land. But the severity of winter can blanket even these giants as bitter weather takes hold. As a result, seismic activity such as earthquakes and tsunamis are relatively common. Following World War II, Kamchatka was used as a military zone by the Soviets, and as such remained off-limits to civilians and tourists until the 90s. Number 6. The Namib Desert, Southern Africa It has been said that the name Namib means emptiness, but no one really knows. And the mute sands conceal the mysteries of its age, history, and origin. Stretching over 1,000 square miles along Africa's southwestern coast, the Namib is among the least populated areas in the world. Thought to be the oldest surviving desert on Earth, 
The Namib is also one of the world's driest regions, which has made humans understandably reluctant to spend much time there. You can travel for days here and see nothing but dust and sand. Be that as it may, its oceans of sand boast some of the largest dunes in the world, with some nearly reaching 1,000 feet high. But for the traveler, its great glory lies in the stark beauty of its dunes. Despite how arid it is, the coast gets a lot of fog, which has caused a large number of shipwrecks, hence one section being nicknamed the Skeleton Coast. Number 5. Gangkar Punsum, Bhutan Located in Bhutan and bordering Tibet, this mountain is the largest unclimbed mountain on Earth. Although neighboring peaks on the Tibetan side have been scaled, Gangkar Punsum has yet to be officially climbed. The first attempt on Gangkar Punsum was by the Japanese in 1985. While a Japanese expedition did reach subsidiary peak Liang Kang Kangri, four attempts to reach the actual summit of Gangkar Punsum have failed. Since then, the Bhutanese government has outlawed mountaineering due to local spiritual beliefs. Because of this prohibition, rescue services are not readily available, which means that climbing Gangkar Punsum is ill-advised. Number 4. Lake Vostok, Antarctica It's a lake that has been separated from the atmosphere and life on Earth for millions of years, going its own way, and we want to know what's down there. Antarctica still holds many secrets. The frosty continent has nearly 400 subglacial lakes. The largest of these is Lake Vostok, named for the Russian research station that sits above it. The lake water is estimated to have been isolated from the rest of the world for some 25 million years. This makes it of particular interest for researchers, as its conditions could be similar to the ice-covered bodies of water believed to exist on some moons. As of this writing, very few samples have been taken, and only time will tell what kinds of life lies beneath. That could rob them of the real prize, discovering new forms of life. Number 3. Valle do Javari Brazil. The Valle do Javari, or Javari Valley in English, is an area of Brazil roughly the size of Austria, or if you're American, think slightly bigger than Maine. Unlike most of our entries, the Valle do Javari is populated. The dense Amazon forests below are home to one of the last uncontacted tribes left on Earth. However, most of the residents are part of tribes who haven't had official contact with the outside world. We have scant footage or even information on these tribes, who have been left alone so as not to disturb them. The new discovery is in the same general region, where two years ago Brazilian Indian researcher José Mireles led a mission that captured these dramatic photos of uncontacted Indians aiming arrows at the airplane. This means that much of the region remains unknown, at least to outsiders. Number 2. Devon Island, Canada Located west of Greenland and part of Canada's Queen Elizabeth Islands, Devon Island is the world's largest uninhabited island. Although briefly inhabited during the mid-20th century, Devon Island has no permanent residence today. Given its polar desert ecosystem, it gets little precipitation, and so it supports very little animal or plant life, with temperatures getting as low as minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Devon Island's primary visitors are scientists, as there are a few research stations on the island. Its resemblance to the surface of Mars has made it of particular interest to space agencies. This is a place that is barren. Vast, intimidating. You're rambling through areas that are quite dangerous. It's isolated and remote and rocky, just like the surface of Mars is. Before we explore our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Sun Dong Cave, Vietnam, the world's largest cave. In an absolutely amazing atmosphere, and it's hard to take in, it's breathtaking and absolutely huge. Mount Horaima, South America. Steep slopes and three national borders make the logistics complicated. Mount Namuli, Mozambique. Many areas can only be accessed through rock climbing. New Hebrides Trench, Pacific Ocean. First explored in 2013. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Mariana Trench, Pacific Ocean Located in the Pacific Ocean near Guam and named for the nearby Marianas Islands, this is the world's deepest ocean trench. Its greatest confirmed depth is around 6.8 miles, although unconfirmed reports suggest it may be even deeper. If we take the height of Mount Everest, we would still have about a mile of water above us before we get to the ocean's surface. Its atmospheric pressure is over 1,000 times that of the surface of the sea. 
This has made it incredibly difficult to explore, and only seven successful descents have been made into the trench. Four of them manned and three unmanned. Life support, good. Depth, one, zero, nine, or two, eight meters. At bottom. Every descent reveals something new about the mysterious trench and the strange flora and fauna that call it home. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.